My name is Todd Yazel, and I'm going to talk to you about the uses and advantages of poly tanks. This presentation is from a university and will be our outline. This is only a guide and the customer will make their own decisions about tank life and tank usage. Poly tanks are an excellent container for storing a wide variety of products. Some of poly tanks usages are for fertilizer storage, fertilizer transportation, and herbicide application. Poly tanks have a limited use life. They degrade quicker when misused or neglected or used beyond their design specifications. The goal is to replace the tank before it ruptures. The hard part is knowing how to assess the structural integrity of the tank to determine when the replacement is necessary. Continued use of an old tank can be a serious economic and environmental mistake when its structural soundness falls below its original design capability. Here's some examples of tank failures. Routine inspections can reduce the likelihood of product loss, cost of cleanup, and legal proceedings. Poly tanks are built with a highly durable, chemical resistant resin formulated for today's pesticides and fertilizers. They are built to the internal specifications of the manufacturer, not according to any national standard. The resin used in, in the manufacturing of most poly tanks are high density linear link polyethylene. The polymer compound used in the manufacturing of poly tanks contains ultraviolet protection. Even so, sunlight degrades the tanks over time. Poly tanks generally are manufactured by using a process known as rotational molding, a powdered polymer compound with a UV protection package is poured into a two-piece mold. The amount of UV protection varies by tank type and manufacturer. The mold is clamped shut, heated in a hot oven. During the heating process, the mold is tumbled in two different directions. As the powder polymer melts, the tumbling causes it to coat the inside of the mold. Once completed, the mold is moved into a cooling chamber where the temperature is so slowly decreased. The completed tank is then removed from the mold. This process molds poly tank as a single piece. A visible external seam known as the parting line gives the impression that two pieces are joined together, but the parting line is merely an external cosmetic artifact from the manufacturing process. It represents the juncture of the two pieces of the mold, not the tank itself. Different products will affect tanks in different ways. The ag tank is not manufactured to contain fuels. Poly tanks have two distinct use designs, vertical tanks or storage and horizontal tanks for transportation. The significant design difference between vertical and horizontal tanks dictate how they should or should not be used. Using a tank outside its design specification voids most manufacturers warranty and increases the odds of tank deterioration, failure, the cost of cleanup, or loss of inventory. Vertical storage tanks are designed for stationary placement. This slide shows vertical tanks being tied down in a secondary containment dike. A storage tank used for transportation can fail at the points where the tie downs are attached. Storage tanks are not designed for transportation. This slide shows some of the problems that can occur when vertical tanks are used for transportation. Both vertical and horizontal tanks should be properly secured in place without bulging or looking deformed. Although tanks are designed to change shape slightly when filled, they must not be squeezed out of shape by straps or tie downs. A deformed tank indicates too much stress on the polymer, which in com combination of UV exposure and the weight of the material may cause the tank to fail. 
Large capacity horizontal tanks greater than 1,000 gallons generally are equipped with internal plastic baffles that reduce the force of the liquid as it surges from one end of the tank to the other. This slide shows a horizontal tank with hold down bands and the internal baffles. Most warranties cover the tank if used according to the manufacturer's specs and if failure occurs during the warranty period. Coverage is for workmanship and materials only. Under these terms, a defective tank may be repaired or replaced. Warranties do not cover the replacement cost for lost product or environmental cleanup due to the release or spill, nor do they cover tank failure where the material stored has a specific gravity higher than the tank's rating. Read the manufacturer's warranty to find out what is and is not covered. Using a horizontal tank without bands voids the warranty. Now we'll go over some questions that we need to ask when someone is purchasing a poly tank. Number one would be what size of tank will you, will you need? Question number two should be what product you are putting in the tank so we can match up the weight of the tank or the specific gravity of the tank. The third question that needs to be answered is how much does the poly tank cost? The fourth would be is the poly the material that they should go with for this application? Tanks eventually fail no matter what material they're made of. Choose the best location for a poly tank. Place the tank properly. The few minutes it takes can lessen the likelihood of a spill and reduce the impact in the event of a tank failure. Tanks do fail, so it's important to know where a spill would travel. Sometimes the handiest location is the worst location, especially without secondary containment. A level surface is important for supporting a vertical tank. The tanks in these photos are not properly installed. This slide is of vertical storage tanks properly installed on a level surface and secured to the base. A tank pad is customary for placing tanks on a rough surface. Tanks come equipped with a vent, usually built in the lid or the tank itself, that allow the tank to breathe during loading and unloading. An improper or non-functional vent can cause tanks to swell excessively during loading or to collapse during unloading. The higher flow rates of larger pumps may require the installation of additional vents by either the tank manufacturer or the owner. When using large capacity pumps, additional tank venting can be accomplished by opening or removing the lid, but you must be sure to replace the lid before moving the tank. Testing and routine inspection is recommended for all poly tanks. Check continually for movement of horizontal tanks on transport vehicles. Tanks held in place with metal straps should be inspected numerous times during the season since they can cut into the tank if it shifts forward or backwards. Place thin rubber or foam underneath the metal straps to prevent this. Metal hoops usually do not need this type of protection. Color plays only a very small part of reducing UV breakdowns of polyethylene. The color red, green, black, yellow, blue, or white is added to the dry blending pigment during the molding process, but it does not add UV protection. Some poly tank manufacturers use color to separate product lines. Example, a 1.5 specific gravity tank may be white and a 1.9 specific gravity tank may be blue. Some use colors as a marketing tool, but we should not rely on a tank color as an indicator of specific gravity, especially when comparing tanks made from different manufacturers. Routine inspections of all poly tanks are recommended. This slide goes through some techniques on deter how to determine a good tank from a bad tank. Uh, there's three or four techniques uh, described in this slide. I would not suggest uh, using the baseball bat method. Um, we don't need to uh, recommend that uh, technique to our end users. This presentation can be found on the Purdue Extensions website.